All right. So let's kind of go through this expansion, guys. Um, the first one is anything, any number, variable, or expression raised to the zero power is obviously just going to be 1. Okay. Um, over here, we have x plus y to the first. Anything raised to the first power is just going to be itself. Okay. Over here, we have x plus y squared. Now again, these do not say x plus y squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Nobody taught you that. All right? You are confusing it with xy squared, which is where we could distribute across multiplication. You cannot distribute an exponent or a power across addition and subtraction. Remember, guys, when you have, a, when you have that exponent 2, that means repeated multiplication. That's x plus y times x plus y. Right? 4 squared is 4 times 4, right? It's repeated multiplication. And then here, you recognize, oh, I need to pry distributive property. So you could use FOIL or whatever way you want to. x squared plus, um, let's see, xy plus yx plus y squared. Okay? And then we recognize, even though these are not in the same order, they have the same base and the same power. They both have an xy, and they're both raised to the first power. right? So they're like terms, so we can combine them. Agreed? Cool. OK, now x plus y cubed is x plus y times x plus y times x plus y, right? But I'm going to make this a little bit easier. I already know this result. And usually, guys, a binomial squared, if you did your what you need to know from polynomials, you practice some of that, you should know, you should hopefully be able to do this relatively easily. So I'm actually going to rewrite this problem as x plus y times um, x plus y squared. Isn't that the same thing as x plus y cubed? Now, the reason why I like this notation a little bit better is I already know what x plus y squared is because I just did it. Now, if I didn't just do it, I'm pretty comfortable with squaring something. right? I can kind of do that in my head once you have a lot of practice, or at least I can do that on a separate, you know, I can easily kind of do that on my own. right? So if I multiply this, that's going to be, so this is really the same thing as x plus y times x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now, again, we need to do distributive property, but we don't have that nice little FOIL idea anymore. So we just need to understand that distributive property is multiplying every term times every term. OK? So when we look at this now, um, x times x is going to be x cubed. x times 2x is going to be 2x uh, squared y plus x times y squared is going to be an x y squared. y times x squared is a y x squared. y times 2xy is a positive 2xy squared. And y times y squared is y cubed. Okay? And you guys can immediately see there is a lot of terms that are going on. Right? That is a lot of um, terms that we're basically looking at in that regard. Now we've got to see, is there any like terms? Now again, like terms, we don't care about the coefficients. We only care, do they have the same exponents? the same base and the same power. So x squared y. Forget about the 2. Is there any other term that's an x squared and a y? The y squared. Yeah, this one. It's not in the same order, but they're like terms. So those are like terms. And then is there anything else that's an x and a y squared? Well, this one, I don't know why I wrote that in that format. But yeah, you can see this one is, this is really, let's just write it like this, just so we can kind of see. So you guys see how those are like terms. Sometimes a little bit difficult. Those are a little bit more going on. But you guys can see that those work. So therefore, 2x squared, 2x squared y plus um, x, squared, x squared y is going to give us a 3x squared y plus a 3xy squared plus a y cubed. Right? We're getting a little better. All right, let's go ahead and move up the chain here. And let's go and work into a x plus y to the fourth power. Now, working into x plus y to the fourth, kind of based on my understanding that I previously did, you know, this is x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. But again, when you're multiplying something, you only, we're only multiplying two things at a time, right? We're not just multiplying everything times everything. Like, only pick two binomials and multiply them at a time. However, using the understanding I did for the last problem, I'm going to rewrite this as x plus y squared times x plus y squared. 
Is that still x plus y to the fourth? Yes. Do I already know what this answer is? Yeah, I already did it, right? And, and if I didn't already do it, I could easily kind of figure that out, like just by you know my own math work. So that's going to give me x squared plus 2xy plus y squared times x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And then maybe if you look at that, you might have had maybe like your heart pressure just kind of looked at you and you're like, oh, wow, that's a lot of lines to multiply. Don't you guys agree? Like, look how crazy that is. Can you just imagine how crazy this is to do the distributive property? It's not going to look very pretty. All right? So let's maybe think of multiplication as a different way. You guys agree 3 times 4 is equal to 12. It's kind of like the same thing of length times width equals area. Agreed? So if I gave you a box and I say, you know, this was 3 and this is 4, we know the area is 12, but how do we really think about that? Well, here this is 3, so that's 3, three rows. And this is 4, so that's going to be four columns. And then how many boxes are inside of that? 12, right? If you remember how we broke up. So the main broke up um, the area. The main point that I'm trying to make is the product of any two numbers, variables, or expressions is really just the idea of finding the area. So what that means is by writing it like this, this is really like just multiplying the length and the width. That means my answer is going to be the area of a box, right, or of a rectangle. So to understand this, I'm going to do a box. You could do this method if you want to. Have, you know, go for it. Like it's not, there's not wrong. Since there's three terms, right, this isn't a number, so it doesn't really make a sense. Like it's not like three. Like, oh, the side length is three. The side length is this weird polynomial. But there's three terms, so therefore I'm going to create three rows. Here, there's three terms, so I'm going to create three columns. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a term in front of each row or column. So I'll have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Here, I'm going to do xy plus 2xy plus y squared. Now again, via distributive property, I have to multiply everything times everything. When you multiply these, does the x squared get multiplied by everything? Does the 2xy get multiplied by everything? Yeah, because all we're going to do now is just find the length and the width or the area of each box. Right? So it's a little bit different. It's the same operation. We're just a little bit more organized. But don't worry, it gets a little better. So let's do the length and width of each box. x, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 2xy is going to be 2x cubed y. And x squared times y squared is x squared y squared. Now this is a little bit of an Algebra 2 review, so I'm just going to kind of do the rest of it. And hopefully you guys um, can follow me. And if you have any questions or I do something wrong, let me know. But hopefully you guys can multiply this stuff on your own. You're just kind of using um, the notation or this, this new method. OK, but all I did was I multiplied the length times the width for each box. Is everybody OK? Yes. Now, here's the best part I like. The best part about this is um, the best part about this is over here, when we were trying to find like terms, it wasn't as obvious, right? They're written in different ways and like it's kind of hard to like find them, like you can make a mistake. The reason I like the box method, as long as you have um, polynomials that are in descending order, the like terms are on the diagonal. So now for me to find my final product, I'm just going to take x to the fourth plus 4x four cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y to the fourth. Right? Ta-da. Now, 